And our first snow of the season will be falling across parts of the viewing area by this time tomorrow night, dumping up to six inches in some areas. Good evening. I'm Sharon Taswell and I'm Sean Maroney. Thanks for joining us. Our entire viewing area on either under a winter storm watch or a warning tonight. The storm already forcing several school systems, including Durham and Wake counties to take action, canceling all Friday after school events as well as weekend activities. Here's the list so far. Durham, Harnett, Moore, Orange, Sampson, Wayne and Wake again all canceling after school activities on Friday. The storm also forcing the postponement of all of Governor Roy Cooper's inauguration events scheduled for Saturday and Sunday. That includes the ceremony that was moved indoors. The parade was already canceled. Tomorrow's prayer service and swearing in of some Council of State members is still scheduled as well as the inaugural ball for Saturday night. And we have our crews covering all angles of preparation. Amy Cutler is in Raleigh, Michael Highland in Durham and AJ Janival in Rocky Mount, an area that could see even more snow. But we start with Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein with the latest on this system. Wes. Hi guys, good evening to you and to you at home. You know, in an average winter, we get about five or six inches of snow in central North Carolina. Well, this Saturday, it's all going to come in about eight hours. That's a pretty big deal for us. And there haven't been many changes tonight at 11 o'clock. But the fact that there haven't been many changes is a pretty big deal because now we're less than 24 hours and this is still happening. So we need to act like we're going to have this much snow coming. The timing, I haven't adjusted it much. 5 p.m. Friday is when it will start moving in from the south and it'll move out to the east about 2 p.m. Saturday. On average for all of central North Carolina, four to six inches. But some of us are going to get six to eight. I think that bullseye is going to happen. And as I said, that's a significant deal, not only for what's going to fall on Saturday, but how long and how cold and how frozen it's going to stay for a few days after it. So this is a significant event and impact for our area. And as I mentioned, the roads will be rough on Saturday and stay that way with ice through Sunday and Monday. I think tomorrow night, if you have to get out, I think it's going to be OK. Now tonight it's just cold. That rain we talked about is off to the east. That's not going to impact us. But what will the snow and what it does to the roads has prompted a winter storm warning that will go in effect from 7 o'clock tomorrow to 7 o'clock Saturday. That's for most of the area. Just south and just north of that, kind of one stage back is a winter storm watch. Not as much snow, but still some dangerous conditions. This is all not going to bother us tomorrow. Tomorrow, most of the day will be dry. No travel troubles at all, other than it's going to be cold. So your morning commute will hold in the mid to upper 30s tomorrow, but those numbers are warm compared to how cold it's going to be after the snow. We're going to talk about that cold, and I'll take you hour by hour through Friday and Saturday, show you what the radar is going to look like, and an updated snow totals map in just a few minutes. All right, Wes. Well, Governor. Those items will be put to use. Yes, they will. The, the true best bet, though, is to order up these sleds about August or July. Uh, ours are up in the attic and we have located them are ready for this weekend. I want to start off kind of with big picture what's new and some other things that have occurred to me tonight at 11 o'clock. So at 11, the new snow map still has four to six inches. So we're that much closer to the event and we're still thinking this. But you're going to go to bed Friday night disappointed because there's not going to be a lot out there. But it's going to be one of those snows that when you wake up, because most of the accumulation is going to be between midnight and 8 a.m., it's going to look totally different outside. It'll be a winter wonderland, and you'll have that excitement, especially, hopefully, knowing that we don't have to go to work in school on a Saturday morning. This is going to be our biggest snowfall since February of 2015. That's two years, so it's been a while since we've had this much snow all at once. But unlike most of our snowstorms here, it's not going to melt the next day. You're going to have snow around Monday, Tuesday, probably even into Wednesday of next week. And that doesn't happen too often around here. And that's because it is going to get really cold Sunday and Monday. Now I can say coldest air of the season because some of us are going to be flirting with single digits on Monday morning. That's going to be a problem because that's going to keep the icy roads around Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and maybe even into Wednesday morning. And you know that's going to result in some school changes next week. All right, so that's our big picture. Let's jump into the forecast for tomorrow. Most of the day Friday, absolutely no problems getting around. 
When you go to work in the morning, yes, it's going to be cold 35 degrees, but we'll keep it dry through most of the day. We're only going to top out at 44, so it's going to be a cold day. And that rain I have right here, it is rain at 6 p.m. and it is down in the sand hills. It's not until probably 9 or 10 o'clock here in Raleigh that we're going to start to see snowflakes and a little sooner farther south, a little later up to the north. Let's walk you through what we think the radar is going to look like over the next 48 hours. Again, tomorrow morning, we're fine. It's Friday. Let's get excited about that. TGIF, right? That's never a bad thing. Clouds start to thicken up by lunchtime, but it stays dry. Even at 3 and 4 o'clock when we get home from school, things are going to be fine. No precipitation. But here we are at 5 o'clock. Rain starting along the sand hills from Hoke, Cumberland, and Sampson County. By 10 o'clock, we're starting to see some snow move into the Triangle and other spots in Harnett, Moore, and Lee County. Then we get into midnight, and again, it's between midnight. Look at all that snow. That's moderate snow between midnight and 6 a.m. That's eight, six hours of decent snowfall. But here is where the, the unsureness of the forecast comes. You see the rain in the coast, and you see this big area of pink? That's sleet. What happens if that shifts? 50 miles to the north. That's going to drastically change our map, and that's a possibility, and that's why there's still some uncertainty. We get to about 10 a.m., still some decent snow falling across the area, and then after 10 a.m., in a hurry, that snow gets out of here. So I think we're all dry by 2 o'clock. We're all clear by 6 o'clock, but we're also very cold. That's when those temperatures are going to start to plunge, kind of freezing everything and keeping it around for a few days. So I've updated the map a little bit tonight. I've nudged that 6 to 10 inches a little closer to the triangle, but I still think that we're going to go from 6 inches in northern Cumberland County, 30 miles south to an inch is entirely possible. So from 1 to 6 inches in 30 miles, that's how tight that gradient's going to be. And again, if the storm shifts a little north, everything will shift. It could shift a little bit to the west, but more dark blue than anything. And that is, for all of us watching right now, 4 to 6 inches. That is the widespread snow totals. And as I said, we're confident in the cold. We're confident there's going to be snow around. We're feeling really good about the timing now, less than 24 hours out. But I'm still a little uncertain about those snow totals because of the sleet situation. I want to explain what I mean. So let's say we've got a half inch of water out there in the atmosphere. If that falls at rain, as rain, it's going to be a half inch in the bucket, right? That's pretty simple. But what if it's sleet? Well, that could actually accumulate that half inch of water to two inches of sleet, but that could also be five inches of snow. And if we're going to be all of these in a 30 mile stretch, that's where the uncertainty comes in the forecast. But one thing we do know, there's going to be snow and it's going to cause travel problems. So Friday night, I don't expect any travel problems. But when it really starts to snow in the overnight hours, that's when we're going to start to see snow, slush, and ice on the roads. And that's going to continue up until early Saturday afternoon. Then the moisture shuts off. But the problems on the roads are going to continue for several days. So again, the arrival time late on Friday between 5 and 7 as rain. Then it spreads up to the triangle, becoming snow between between 7 and 9 p.m. and then 9 to 11 up along the Virginia border. So I know this is a fun graphic to show, but it's also kind of got a little science behind it. This is a scale from 0 to 5 of how serious we think this is going to be. And I bumped our snowman meter up to a 3 saying, yes, it's time to buy a sled. I think we'll get to use it this weekend. But also on a scale of 1 to 5, we're halfway up the scale. So this is a significant event for us, not only because of the snow, which again, between midnight and 8 a.m., that's when most of it will fall, but because of the cold. And here's what I mean, as you can see on the 7 day, we're not going to get above freezing Saturday, Sunday and Monday. We've got morning temperatures in the teens Sunday, Monday and Tuesday morning. And that's why uh, number one, I'll be layering up. And number two, I think we're going to have churches canceling, schools canceling, businesses rescheduling not only on Monday, but maybe on Tuesday as well. Really? So yeah. it's okay. a big deal for us, and it's less than 24 hours away. Yeah. So. 10 degrees, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Excellent job breaking it down for us, Wes. A lot Thank to you. talk about. Yes. Well, here's Jeff with a look at what's coming up in sports. Jeff. Hey, guys. Well, it's game night for the... North Carolina News at 11 starts now. Right now at 11, the snow starting to move in. Most of us have only seen a light rain tonight, but that's about to change.
and a live look at the snow falling in downtown Durham. Look at that as it's really starting to come down. The winter storm warning is in effect as most of the state prepares for the significant winter storm. Good evening. I'm Sharon Taswell and I'm Sean Roney. Thanks for joining us. Let's get straight to Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein with the very latest on this. Wes. All right, all week long it's been forecasting for tonight. Well, tonight is here and so far the timing and the transition is working out like we thought in the past 24 hours. So that means even though right now most of our front yards are still green, most of the snow doesn't really start to fall until after midnight and we could still see several inches. Couple things about what we're looking at right now. Most of us have some type of precipitation, but there's a lot more white on the map now than there was a few hours ago. That rain snow line is pushing a little farther to the south. The other thing I want to point out, the temperatures. Notice north of the triangle how they're already starting to dip just below freezing. Not a lot, but that's very important because this is where the roads are going to become a little more hazardous first, and then as all of our temperatures eventually fall below freezing, that's when we'll all have hazardous road conditions. So let's back this up the last two hours, and obviously precipitation everywhere, but I, what I want you to watch is the rain snow line. You can see it slowly starting to dip to the south. And again, it's not going to be a fast process, but as that happens, more of us will start to see snow. And what's also important to note as we widen out that there is a whole lot more moisture still to come our way. And yes, a lot of what we're seeing is green, but as it moves into our colder atmosphere, our colder upper atmosphere, more of it will turn to snow, and that's why we still think a significant snowfall will happen. Again, after midnight through early tomorrow, moderate snow continues through 9 a.m., even through lunchtime before it starts to wrap up in the afternoon, and we actually start to clear out. So that's the snow situation. Look at our temperature situation. By morning, we expect mid-20s, and we really expect it to hold there all day long. Plus, it's going to be windy. So you see your wind chills all day long, not out of the teens. So snow in the morning, 20s all day long, wind chills in the teens all day long. So that is your Saturday. Big picture, the timing of this system, snow, rain, sleet, and even some freezing rain will continue through 3 o'clock tomorrow. Our average total of 4 to 8 inches of snow hasn't changed, but those totals will be less to the south as we're expecting more ice, and that will create significant problems in our lives, not only tomorrow, but with snow and ice and freezing temperatures sticking around through Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, I think we'll have trouble on the roads each of those days. We'll update you on the radar, what it's gonna look like overnight and through tomorrow. I'll take you hour by hour through that time, and we'll go through the snow totals map one more time before we get into the weekend. Okay, we'll check in with you soon, Wes. Thank you, and we'll be updating you both online. No milk, so hopefully people don't wait until the last minute. And hopefully everyone enjoys their, I guess, French toast tomorrow morning. So good news is it's the weekend. It's Friday. I think a lot of us are looking forward to some snow, at least from the comments I've seen on social media. Here's what we've got going now. Everyone is getting some type of precipitation. The green is rain. The purple and pink is a mixture. Sleet, rain, snow, freezing rain if you're below freezing, but most of us aren't below freezing yet. So that tells us the roads are okay for now, except where the snow has already started to fall. Colder temperatures, obviously. Road conditions probably okay now, but in the next few hours, as the intensity picks up, the road conditions will deteriorate. So let's look at the past couple of hours, and even since the start of the newscast, I want you to watch how the white, the rain snow line, is slowly sinking to the south. That's a trend we expect to continue, and then it'll kind of hold and jostle back and forth. But if we look at how the line is setting up, and let's just kind of draw a line across that, that line and that angle is very similar to our snowfall totals map, which I'm going to show you in a second. So remember that, and remember everything above it. That's where we expect the majority of the snow to fall. And our thoughts as we head into tomorrow, what's expected to be one of our biggest snowstorms in almost six years since the Christmas snow of 2010, where that rain snow line finally ends up will really determine if our forecast is correct or not. So that's something I'll be watching very closely overnight. 
since everything so far is on schedule, we're gonna leave the four to eight inch average in the forecast, unless you're farther to the south. If you're south of the triangle, you're gonna get less snow, but unfortunately, more sleet and ice, which could be equally as dangerous on the roads. I mean, eight inches of snow could be just as bad as two inches of sleet with a little bit of ice. After everything ends tomorrow afternoon, we're still expecting single digit temperatures Monday morning, and we'll have three days where we don't get above freezing, which means this snow and ice is going to be around through Tuesday. So overnight, more snow, more rain will change to snow, and temperatures will continue to drop all the way down to 25 by 6 a.m. with a wind chill of 17. And remember, if you're disappointed by looking out your front door right now, remember, most of the snow not coming between midnight and about 8 a.m. And it will be snow for most of us through lunchtime. Then we'll start to dry out and clear out very quickly. But boy, we are not going to warm up at all tomorrow. We stay in the 20s all day. Our wind chills stay in the teens. So here's what we expect the radar to look like about 2 a.m. Again, this line could jostle in either direction, which will have big impacts on the snow. But let's put it into motion. As you can see, snow continues to fall from the triangle on north. It's a mixed bag for areas south, and that could include some ice. But by 9 a.m., we really start to see more snow changeover. And this is moderate snow, so that's going to be good accumulating snow, even through lunchtime for a lot of us. And then shortly after that, we dry out. A few hours after that, we've got clear skies, and that's really going to allow things to get cold. So remember that angle of the rain snow line, kind of angled across the area like this. That's how most of our snow, that 6 to 10 inches, is setting up. But boy, does it drop off very quickly just by going a few miles to the south. And again, a situation where we might be wrong is if that rain snow line is a little farther up. I mean, that could be less than two inches very quickly where someone a few miles to the north could be six to ten inches. So a lot of changes are possible, but it's not just all snow. Areas that are going to get less snow to the south. Look at our ice forecast. You guys could have some sleet and ice that could cause equally as many problems as four to eight inches of snow. So at this point, we feel really good about the temperatures and the timing forecast. But because of that rain snow line setup and the eventual totals, our confidence isn't as high as I'd like it to be with the event starting. And here's why. What's this low pressure going to do? Why White, blue, pink, and rain represent snow, sleet, ice, and rain. Well, what happens if that low moves a little closer? We've got more rain and less snow, but if it nudges a little farther to the south, we've got more snow in the forecast. And even at this point, a little jostling in either direction could have a big impact on our end results. Remember, half inch of rain is a half inch of rain, but that could equate to two inches of sleet or up to five inches of snow. And we're all in play here with all of these precipitation types. So we're still looking at it to continue through 3 o'clock tomorrow. On, on average, 4 to 8 inches with more ice and less snow to the south, creating significant problems for our area and keeping snowy roads tomorrow, but snow and ice through Tuesday. So your seven day forecast is all about the snow for about the next 18 hours, then the cold. As you can see, we've got three days where we're not above freezing. We've got really bitterly cold morning temperatures through Tuesday, and we start to thaw out finally Tuesday afternoon. But we've got three days where this snow is going to stick around, and that doesn't happen around here too often. So enjoy it, but be careful. Okay, thanks, Wes. We're right back with sports.